Hey everyone, CV Tech here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a how to video. Um, this is the LG G Stylo that has been updated to uh, 6.0 Marshmallow. And I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to make a video showing how to move apps to the SD card because it is different than the 5.1 um, Lollipop version on how to. Um, switch apps to the SD card. So I will go in here and I will show you how to move around the apps and stuff like that. I have have, have had a few hiccups with it showing that there's not enough storage to move the app. However, there is plenty of storage. So I will show you all of that and everything in the video to come. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get in with this how-to video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this video here on how to move your apps to the SD card uh, with using the LG G Stylo on the new 6.0 Marshmallow update. So we'll go ahead and get into that. Tap the screen to come on. And of course, I got to rip my Tar Heels um, for get to the final four. Awesome. Uh, but anyway, kind of beside the point. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and go in here and we will go into. I can focus in a little bit here. Go into the settings. This phone is so slow sometimes. Uh, and I will go in here and I will show you this phone is running Android 6.0. And as you see there, Android version 6.0. And there's the little marshmallow dude there. So go ahead and back out of there. Now there's two ways you can go about doing this. You can go up here. Now, I'm not really sure about other platforms. I know that this is on the LG G Stylo on 6.0. Other phones may be different, but, you know, they should be about the same. I don't know. But you got your storage and USB, and you got your apps. So if you go into apps here. I'm taking this on sweet time because this is a slow phone. Oh, okay. We'll go in here and find the app. It can be moved uh, like Clean Master here. Now, as you see, you'll have your storage, data, permissions, all that stuff. You'll push on storage. And if you got this option here, storage used, internal storage. And if it says change, focus this in a little bit better here. You can push change and you can, it says internal storage or SD storage. And, of course, you push move and it'll move it for you. However, I won't do that right now. Uh, also, the awesome thing with 6.0 is permissions, and you can turn off or on the permissions that you choose. However, um, if the app requires uh, the camera, you cut it off. Of course, it will not work or not operate right. So, you know, all I, I like to just play around with the um, permissions to find out what can be, what, what needs to be used, and what don't need to be used. So I, that's kind of an awesome deal here with 6.0 as well. So we'll back out of here. And what where I normally go to uh, change everything at is I back out of here. I go to storage and USB. And you'll see that I have um, used 8.2 gigabytes, 14.48 uh, gigabytes on my SD card. So I got plenty of storage you see here. Now, of course, on the internal storage, you got this little mediocre 8 gigabytes of storage. And I've got about, I've got that about all used up. So right now it's calculating everything. And like I said, this phone is pretty slow. It is got a little bit faster since the update to Marshmallow. It used to be very slow. Now it's just kind of slow. So anyway, as you see, we're going to apps here. And it has your biggest apps and it goes down from there. So we'll go to an app here. Um, go to Tiger Ball. Pretty awesome game here. It's pretty addicting. Uh, it's fun, a little difficult, a little challenging, but I enjoy it. As you see here, it does say internal storage and change. Go in here and just press SD card and push move. And it takes, uh, it takes uh, you know, about 10, 15 seconds for it to move. And it always also depends on how big the file is. If it's a small file, it changes quick. If something like Facebook is a big file, it takes 
quite a long time sometimes to uh, switch over um, from your internal to, internal to uh, your SD card. Now, so now you'll see there it's changed to the SD card. Pretty simple. Now, if I go in here and go and find Clean Master, and like I said, uh, if it has this option right here uh, where it says change, you're good to go. However, if you go to somewhere like Google Plus and you don't have that up here up top, then of course you cannot move the app to the SD card. This is, of course, more difficult and more a lot different than 5.1 Lollipop and all that stuff. But um, like I said, it does have its benefits. So we'll go down here, back to Clean Master again. And I will show you a problem that I have ran into. Now, you've seen I had like six gigs available to user on my uh, SD card. Now, when I go in here and push change, I run into this problem sometimes. So I'll go in here and I'll move. Not enough storage space. Now, why it says that for, I have no idea. Um, I'm nowhere near used up on my external storage. But I can go in here and try to do it again. And it's going to tell me the same thing. Not enough storage space. So uh, I'm not really sure the problem there. If I figure out why it does that, I'll make another video explaining that. Um, a lot of apps here I have already moved, like Facebook here. Um, you know, it's already been changed to the SD card and stuff like that. Um, it's a pretty big file itself. But, um, so yeah, it's pretty simple to do. I mean, you just go in here, like I said, go to Tiger Ball, uh, go, um, yeah, let me back out of here and just start over. Yeah, sorry about this, y'all. Go to Storage and USB, go to Internal Storage, go to your apps, find the apps that you want to move, and just push on it. And if it has this option here that says internal storage or internal storage, just push change and switch to your SD card and say move and it will do it for you. So um, if you run into that issue where it says not enough storage space, and I'm not really sure what to tell you on that, but so far, um, that's how you do it. And I thought I would just share that along a little bit because I have seen some questions here and there on how to move apps to SD card using Marshmallow, and like I said, all of them may not be the same, some may be a little bit different, but this is the LGG Stylo uh, and everything else. So anyway, uh, hopefully this helped out, helped out a little bit. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If this was informative any at all, please give me that thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so by hitting that subscribe button down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, and stay tuned for the next video.